Mm. I'm not sure what my favorite anime opening ever will be. I don't know what my favorite anime opening is. So many good ones. So five more. Bro, put bots in jaws through five and scores for man if you want that. Don't talk like you're bad doing on that combat juice gonna spill like cognac with that shit. Don't stop till I lock that. Heard as a mash on cell man caught that. Verbal abuse is long I stop that. I can't Okay. Hey guys. Hello everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very special video for you guys. And I thought it would be a good idea to make a video for those people. Thank you. I thought it would be a good idea for me to make a video for those people who are thinking of getting into anime, but don't know how to start, where to start, when to start, or with what to start. Or those people who have gotten into anime or maybe like started like one episode or so but are not really feeling it we can tell you that there is so much out there that you don't know about i don't even know about it because there's so much anime there's literally an anime for every single person so every single person have has that anime that is like wow this is something that I really love. So don't be discouraged because obviously there is always something for everybody. I'm going to call this video my anime starter pack part one. I'm gonna talk about how you can get into anime quite easily actually. It's not really a long process or something. You can obviously take some things from this video and you could also choose to refer some things in this video you could find a way that works for you but just try this method number one is know where anime comes from this isn't really such a must but it's important to obviously know exactly where it's sourced from so the original place it comes from is japan anime tends to be sourced from a manga so when you watch a movie a lot sometimes they could come from a book so like um harry potter for example harry potter originally has the book by jk rowling and then it's adapted into a movie by studio um warner brothers studio warner brothers Warner Brothers and they've adapted that, that book into a movie and that's the, almost the same thing with a lot of anime. Some of them come from light novels and some of them come from just they just appear and like just come out of nowhere. It's just important to understand that because you might be a bookworm or you really, really like books and you may or don't have time to watch anime or something then just know that you have an alternative to read the manga and read the light novels and yeah or you can enjoy best of both worlds another thing is tr don't see anime as childish like anime is definitely definitely not childish just because it's animated doesn't make it childish anime is kind of like movies like you have different genres within movies that's exact same as anime so in, in movies you have like things that are sort of you know cater to children and then the things that cater towards um young adults teenagers and the things that cater towards adults so that's the same thing as anime there's a lot of anime there that cater towards children a lot of them cater towards teens and a lot of them cater towards adults so therefore don't see it as childish understand that anime is not childish number two pick a genre when you're watching movies or you're starting a series you tend to gravitate towards the genre that you would like. So maybe you tend to like things that got like Fast and Furious or something. So you would definitely look for movies like Transporter or, you know, something with action in it. That same principle can and should be applied to anime, especially when you're starting out. So if you like 
action, then maybe look for shonen or action. There's different types of genres within anime. Some of them don't are not obviously in English. There's Kodomo, which is basically like kids, like really, really like kiddie anime. Shonen, which is aimed towards boys, but anyone can watch shonen. Like you don't have to be a boy to watch shonen. There's shoujo, which is aimed towards girls. And again, you don't have to be a girl to watch shoujo. Anyone can watch shoujo. There's isekai, which basically means other world. It's when a character gets transported from their world to a completely different world. Oftentimes they get transported from the real world to another world. But there's some animes like The Devil is a Part-Timer, he comes from his world to the real world and stuff like that. So yeah, and then there's lots more and you have the general ones like horror, psychological, action, thriller, so on and so forth. So pick the genre that you personally, not your friend, not your mom, not your sister, not your husband, not your child, love, pick something that you know that you would love and when you watch it, you would genuinely enjoy it because it's the type of genre that you are accustomed to and you are used to. Number three, consider starting short. What I mean by this is basically just Start a short anime. <laughs> so try not to just dive in straight into Naruto or dive in straight into One Piece. I know a lot of these animes can be very intimidating, especially when you're someone who has never, ever watched anime before. Some of you might dive into the bigger animes and you find that, oh, I really like this. And some of you might not be able to because you find it intimidating because it's too, like, too much. <clears throat> <clears throat> Probably start with Attack and Titan, which has like four seasons, Death Note, Mirai Nikki, Elfin Lead, Another, Angel Beat, Anohana, Clanad. You can even start with the movies. There's a lot of anime movies on Netflix, like Silent Voice, and you can go on Amazon Prime and there is Your Name, or you could watch it on Crunchyroll. So there's just a lot of options that you can use to dive into when starting anime. So when you dip your foot into it, you probably like go for the longer ones. So maybe like Jojo or Hunter Hunter or um, Naruto, One Piece and you know, the big three or four or five or yeah. Number five, patience is key. Please be patient with the anime you're watching. If it starts off really slow, then just give it a chance. A lot of anime, they tend to pick up after a couple episodes, so give it a shot. For example, Hunter x Hunter, some people complain that it's a bit boring when they first start it, but you haven't given it a shot. Do you know what I mean? Because Hunter x Hunter is like really, really good. A lot of anime start really, really good. Like that first episode is like really, really like grabbing. And then episode two, three, four, five, six is a bit like, uh, this doesn't really reflect what happened in the first episode and then it picks up later on So always be patient with anime because they are trying to get you to Somehow relate with the characters or maybe feel empathy for the characters or maybe you know, just connect with the characters and They can't do that when they're fighting 24 7 sometimes oftentimes a lot of animes are just crazy from the very start to the very end. And the main, main, main example I can give for this is Gantz. Gantz starts off being crazy, ends off being crazy. So, I mean, be patient, but so, know that some animes out there are, are stupidly crazy, like incredibly crazy. Number six, do your own research. What I mean by this is don't let that friend that is in love with Naruto just sway you into the Naruto world or in love with One Piece and sway into the One Piece world. Just try and understand anime for yourself and try and get into it by yourself because you might be the type of person who just likes watching anime that no one else has actually seen or you might be the type of person that loves watching anime that 
is quite rare to see or a different genre completely so don't just go with the genre your friend gives you or your mom gives you or your grandma gives you go with the genre that you personally love so just do your own research number seven you can join the anime community following people with the same interests or following anime pages subscribing to people on youtube watching youtube videos about anime you could even just possibly start cosplaying your favorite characters going to like mcm hyper japan anime expos anime exhibitions like the one that they had or currently have at the british museum and the uh, Japanese, there's a Japanese museum I believe as well. So like just join the anime community because when you watch anime, you tend, you tend to want to speak to someone else about it. You tend to want to, you know, be like, oh my gosh, this is anime and oh my God, it's this, it's that, it's that, it's that. So try and even maybe forums as well. There's forums on my anime list or even comment section on Crunchyroll or even finding people on Twitter me hello you can follow me <laughs> ask me anything speak to me anything so number eight like mentioned before a lot of anime is originally made from manga not all of them but a lot of them if you like a bookworm or you love comics or you, you just love reading try out the manga you might prefer the manga to the anime even though the manga and the anime probably are the exact same thing but you're just the type of person who prefers the manga or you prefer comics or something so try out the manga sometimes a lot of animes have like they have a complete different storyline to the anime so a lot of mangas and anime tend to go two different ways so you possibly try read the manga and then watch the anime number nine try to branch out into different anime so try and branch out into different genre i know this kind of goes against what i said before but this is basically when you tried out your genre and you like your genre and you're interested in your genre try and branch out into different genres because you never know there are some hidden gems in other genres that you might like and there's a lot of animes out there that will actually surprise you and you never thought that oh i'm watching this i never thought i would like slice of life anime or something but i just love it and i never thought i would enjoy sports anime but kuroko no basket and haikyuu are probably one of my favorite animes ever ever so try and branch out into different genres number 10 enjoy the anime like when you're watching anime you're gonna want to enjoy the anime you're watching you're going to be invested in it especially if you're watching a really long anime just enjoy it do you know what i mean don't take it as a chore don't see it as oh my god is something i have to do don't see it as oh um my friend told me to watch this so i'm watching this my mom told me to watch this so i'm watching it now enjoy watching anime enjoy the process of it enjoy talking to people about it enjoy cosplaying if you want to cosplay enjoy following people on twitter watching youtubers just enjoy it enjoy the process because it is a process basically yeah so yeah so hopefully you guys take something away from this video if you like this video then give it a massive thumbs up like just give it a thumbs up you know you like this video you know you want to see more shit so just like it do you know what i mean don't be selfish don't <laughs> don't be selfish don't be rude just like the video you know you like it and you know you like me so also subscribe as well to my channel i know you want to see more content from me so <laughs> i'm playing just leave me a massive thumbs up down below if you like this video if you want to see more content from me please subscribe and click that notification bell down below and comment if there are any other steps you feel like might be useful to people who have never watched anime or maybe one of the steps that I mentioned is just completely out of pocket. So just let me know down below. Follow me on my socials, follow me on Instagram, on Twitter and Snapchat. I'll leave the link of everything down below so you can always contact me, always reach out to me. And yeah, thank you guys once again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.